Hey YouTube, I got my charade knife. Uh, I came very quick with this, just within a couple of days. I ordered off of Amazon. I got this one for $13. Uh, I apologize, I did went ahead and did the wrap. I ended up doing this wrap, it's a much simpler wrap. This is kind of a universal uh, cross weave type of design. Uh, there's also kind of, you can just go literally just wrap it around super fast. So uh, I don't think I need to do a tutorial on this. There's already like uh, several dozen types uh, of tutorials. So I was going to try to attempt maybe a different type that I have never done before, but when I saw this uh, this opening in this handle, there's just a big uh, cutout. I was like, man, I think that's going to actually work better with this, and this gives you a better traction. But with that being said, and I'll go into that in just a little bit more. Um, it, you know, here's the box. Uh, this is the Strayed SCHF uh, 5N. It's supposed to be a neck knife. It's about a 3.1 inch blade, and uh, it just weighs a couple ounces or so, and it comes with this. Uh, little ball chain that was attached to that it's real cheap and flimsy it, it's about bent real bad well, actually it did bend pretty bad when I was trying to adjust it so I'm keeping it off I'm not going to use it it also came with this piece of uh, cording very cheesy that was uh, on the lanyard hole uh, I don't know what it's not even enough really well maybe just enough to make it a lanyard but it's real cheesy I don't I'm not going to use that either so I was already disappointed with those two things and I'm like okay uh, but the, let's just see how like you know how good the, the blade is itself and uh, and then I started looking at the sheath and it was rattling real bad so I melted the ends a little bit uh, and it kind of took a little bit of that wiggle, wiggle out for the moment but um, I've just kind of lost confidence in this because of the sheath uh, to wear this as a neck knife the whole purpose that I bought it for so I'm already kind of a little bit ticked on that and then it has this funky clip I knew about the clip but daggone it's longer than I thought and it's a little funky you can switch the clip from both ends but it's only on one side so if I was going to carry this on my belt, I'd rather have this tucked in my pants and the clip on the outside here, the clip, instead of having this, you know, moving around with a real slender long clip going in down on the inside of my pants. So uh, it's that's frustrating, but I'm going to try to use it as a, as a belt knife for a while, but I'm afraid this is just going to get lost in a backpack and just kind of shoved in there, uh, and that's how it's going to be. But uh, let's just see how it goes. So this sheath is just like a real cheesy injected mode of plastic type deal. Um, I have tightened this up. As you can see, I took a lighter and uh, melted these ends a little bit to try to get a little more friction, but that's not how it actually holds itself, the blade in. It's this hole right here. Um, it actually has these little uh, elevated areas on both sides that are supposed to kind of just uh, fill in that hole, but they're really cheesily just, just a cheesy type of um, uh, plastic molding in there, and it really just, uh, it's crap. So there's a lot of rattle, and I'm sure if I play with this a little bit more, it'll loosen back up, and um, and, and then there you go. So uh, some type of maybe black painted blade. I don't really know what kind of coating this is. It's not, it doesn't look really, really bad. Um, it's kind of a satin reflective. It's not like super glossy, but... So here it is right here, SCHF 5N, straight on the blade. It's, a, it's just a plain edge with these um, uh, types of uh, ridging. Maybe it's jimping, but they're not sharp at all. There's not like a real sharp purchase, but it's it's, it's adequate. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's, it's what I would call a lower traction. So that's that, nothing on the back of the blade. Uh, as I said before, the handle is just, it's hauled out, it's all full tang, and then there's just a cap lifter here uh, that it, uh, it goes in and I, I went ahead and just used that space to do some wrapping and then there's a lanyard hole. Um, I did add quite a bit but I wanted to have a, a lanyard hole to put my hand in there so a, a safety lanyard and I have extra uh, you know cording if I wanted to take this off and use it for survival applications since I'm not going to be using it as a neck knife now just because of the sheaths uh, you know inadequacies. Of course there's holes there to actually hang it you know but gosh dang it I, I just expected a little bit more. Not so much from the blade, it's okay. The bevel is just slightly barely off center, but it's not bad, it's still workable. It's just this Dangon sheath. You can just look at it and see how cheesy it is. So, Shrade, gosh dang it, I know it's only cheapy uh, prices here, you know, $13 my cost, and you have to cheap out on something, but man, you gotta make these things work together because this is not working. I'm, I'm not gonna probably be buying any more Shrade for some time until I get over this because the last few knives are cool. The SCHF uh, 24 is really cool. 
the sheath kind of was just like about a C, C minus in my opinion. It was okay. But now that, because uh, it had a little rattle and I've tried to work it out and it's a little harder to work that rattle out. But this one is just, uh, there's really no way to really increase the chances of the friction because the, the very small amount of material they work from to even hold this blade in through that through this you know using this hole here i mean it'll probably wear out after a few dozen or maybe a hundred you know pushes in and out you know of the blade in the sheath and it'll wear it out so i don't know what to think about this uh i don't know what to do after this sheath wears out how i'm going to store this that's a problem that i was hoping i didn't have to even deal with but uh so this is the knife you know it's 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 a pretty small knife overall i wear extra large gloves as we know now uh, three fingers really well and that third one kind of now that I kind of have this cording and you know it's I can I can kind of feel part of that on my that last finger so uh, this is what it looks like in hand and uh, I think it'll be okay for feather sticking and camp chores just very light duty stuff it is a seven I think it's a seven CR 13 MOV something like that and uh, so you got a stainless steel um, I think it'll just be fine. I, I like that for this application, especially if it's close to the body and if there's any sweat or moisture. I didn't want a high carbon steel. I mean, I'm aware of all those high carbons, the 1095 and so forth. They're really nice, and I have some. I just wanted something that would be a little more rust resistant. So if you already have one of these or you know about these, and if you, if you know any, any fixes as well for the sheath or if you think I may have to just, you know... Uh, go to a Kydex maker and uh, have one made. I, I just don't want to actually have to spend more on the sheath than the knife. I know some people do that, and I'm not saying it's wrong or weird, but it's almost like this is what you have to do with some of the Shrade stuff. The Shrade is very hit and miss. You know, that's why I'm not doing any more Smith & Wesson knives because it's made by the same people of Shrade. It's all the Taylor Cutlery stuff. And even though I think they are doing quite a bit better on their quality overall i uh i will say that uh there's still things to be desired so uh, thanks again for watching the video on the shrade schf uh, 5n and uh, for all your comments and subscriptions i will talk to you real soon and you take care